Okay, so we've arrived and all our stuff have arrived as well. Um, it's time to unpack. I'll unpack first before I talk to you guys. Good luck. Good morning! Good morning, Sienna Bug! Hi! It's the camera. Good morning. Morning, morning. Yeah. Morning world. You can see the beach right over there. And actually, I have to raise the camera. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. One, two, three. How was your sleep, my So we've already had our breakfast. Sienna is still napping. I already look like a person. And so where are we? We are in Batangas. So we're in a beach house. We're gonna be here for around a month. So we came here yesterday. I, I did not come back to you guys after we unpacked. There was a lot of things that we did. We moved some furniture around just to make us more comfortable. We cleaned a lot of stuff, like our own stuff. We unpacked a lot of stuff. And we basically nested. And that is why I was too knocked out to come back to you guys. But anyway, I'm here. And so yeah, we're in this Batangas Beach house. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys where we're staying, but just not right now for safety reasons. And also because we're here. But yeah, I'll share this with you guys eventually when we're about to leave. I'll share the link of this apartment to you guys. So Yoni and I have been planning to really head to the beach after Christmas because of course, number one is the new, like another COVID wave and NCR is just really, there's just too many cases. As you know, we're currently living with my parents and so it's a bigger household. There's much more foot traffic in that house. So we really felt that it's much safer if we moved our little family unit somewhere else first. So it's just us where all the people are really just staying in the house. No one's going out for work. No one's going out for groceries. So I feel more at ease, especially because we have Sienna who's unvaccinated because she's still a baby. Yeah, this is a perfect solution to my anxiety and it makes me feel so much safer. So it's just me, Yoni, Tess Booney, Chanonensky, unfortunately, we had to leave behind at my parents' place. Yeye is also here and my sisters. So we're all just working from home. And the beach is literally just a few meters away from this house, which I love. There's also so like a clubhouse here so that's also great we can also experience the pool and stuff so yeah it's a really nice escape for a while hopefully once we're done with this sorry i don't know if you guys can hear this but i'm i have sienna on the background just in case she wakes up hopefully after we're done with our rent here um situation in manila is much much better it's not as bad anymore kids can go out again and we feel much safer at least so that you know we can experience some sort of normalcy again but if not then i don't know what to do next but anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the house in a bit. 
So basically, this is where you enter. There's an outdoor stove here in the house. This is also where we'll probably wash our clothes and stuff. And then when you enter, there's a full-length mirror right here, place to put your shoes. This is actually the door to the service quarters. So they have their own toilet as well there. Perfect. And then there's also a powder room here. So this is the way to the other floors, but I'll show you the common areas first. So we've already nested, so <laughs> you'll see it how we fixed everything. So basically, we have here our charging station. This is the living area. This is usually closed though, so they've got glass doors, glass partitions here. But we kept it open just to keep the air flowing around the house. So this is your living area, probably where the entertainment area will be most of the time. But we've decided to make this Sienna's playpen area. Which is why there's also a Sienna bug here. Hi Sienna bug! Hi! Hi! Oh no, she's plotting her escape. Mommy can't get you yet, you have to go independent play. And then there's a really handy shelf there we could put stuff. We brought our air purifier because COVID fear is real. So we have our IntelliPure over there. And then here is the kitchen area. There were bar stools here, but we've already used the bar stools for something else. We pushed them here so that there's more space. So we've already nested pretty well. Tess Boomi has nested pretty well. In the um, service quarters, there was this desk and we moved it over here because they said they didn't want it there. So we moved it here. This is now my makeup station. It's a perfect spot actually because the sun is right there and I like doing my makeup with daylight so my makeup is right there. <laughs> and so yeah, these are all the goods that we brought with us. We had some ordered as well, like we ordered this. There's a really convenient pabile service here apparently in Batangas. So my sister called them up for some pabile because we needed some more fruits and vegetables. I love how wide this space is so we could really move around the kitchen. We brought all our condiments as well. There's no stove inside though so the cooking is done outside. But we plan to bring our induction stove here so that we can start cooking here inside as well. Also our air fryer so we can easily just do everything inside because outdoors, it's super duper windy. And Tess was telling me that she feels like she's getting blown away now by the wind. It's crazy windy here. Like it's not hot at all. So yeah, lots of storage space here. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Da -da -da! <laughs> <laughs> They're hiding from me. <laughs> okay, let's go up so that they are able to move around freely. Okay, so there are three rooms here upstairs. I'm gonna show you where my sister is staying. So this is my sister's room. She's got the best view in the house. The beach is right over there. So even though it's a single bed here, there's a pull-out bed here actually. So if you're a bigger group than us, you can fit two people in this room as well. And those are drawers, so you could also use that as a compartment. And then they provided these racks for us to keep all our stuff. And then after that is Sienna's room na man. So this is Sienna's room. It's basically the same as the other room. It's also got pullouts and also drawers. So we've turned this into her diaper changing area. Brought her purifier again because I really believe in the power of purifiers. <laughs> and then her crib here. So Sienna and my sister shares a bathroom. Their bathroom is pretty big, pretty sizable. And then here is the master's. Hi. <laughs> With the master. So I've opened up all the windows for you guys. So there's a lot of light here in this house. I brought our own blanket, brought my own <laughs> silk pillowcase. Because I'm pretentious like that. Oh, I didn't know that you have a silk pillowcase. How about my pillow? Well, uh, you're not the one choosy hobs. <laughs> so now he is um, loading up our Wi-Fi. So he also brought all our Google routers so that he could make the connection around the house better. And then we moved one of the racks from Sienna's room into our room so that I can use it as my shelf space. And these are also um, drawers so we could easily put stuff there. And then now I'll show you our bathroom. So this is the master's bathroom. I have nested pretty well. And then, but wait, there is more. There is still another floor. Oh no, actually, before we go to the other floor, I'll show you our outdoor balcony. So there's a balcony here in the master's bedroom. Ta-da! It's super windy here actually. And it's not sunny at all because there's like a roof here. So Yanni has been working here all morning. This is where he set up his workstation, which is what he really wanted for this time here at this beach house. And then this is his view, the beach. I'm gonna show you. Ta-da! So the beach is literally right there. 
right there, one tumbling away. And then here on the other side is the clubhouse where the pool is. Pretty, pretty, pretty close. Okay, so now we're gonna go upstairs to the third floor. I'm sure you guys have seen also, Kokoro doggies are with us. Of course, we're not gonna leave them. So this is just the roof deck actually, but it's a nice place to hang out as well. It's super duper windy here and you can bring out a table and chair. Just come box on the door, okay, there. Hi! Wind is so strong. Ta-da! We're now here at the roof deck. And the beach is right there. We also have a backyard here for Penny, Pixie, and Noodle to play. And you can see right there is the... So it's all connected, like the entrance that I showed you guys a while ago. I love how the light hits here. It's super duper bright. And there's also a lot of AC units here. So even though there's a lot of light coming in, it's fine because there's air conditioning and it doesn't really feel hot. I forgot to say though that these areas look much cuter when we came here because there were like carpets and stuff but we rolled them up already so that there's more space for us to move around in and Penny, Pixie and Noodle won't soil them. So we moved a bunch of stuff like this table was there and then we moved some chairs around because we wanted this to be our workout space so I brought all my workout stuff there and we wanted this space to be clear and that's why we moved the table there because we wanted Sienna's playpen to be there. So yeah, but the size is super duper perfect for us. It's not a big house. It's just right, just the right size for our needs. And I love how all the furniture is pretty light so we could easily move them around. And so yeah, it works for us. It's the perfect place for us to live in for a month. And I'm gonna show you guys more in the weeks to come. I'm gonna show you guys the beach. I'm gonna show you guys the clubhouse area and all the different places that we're gonna visit while we're here in Batangas. So that's it for my vlog for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye guys!